hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can create a custom gdevolve splash screen yes i'm talking about changing this to something like this yes changing the text the image and basically having control of the splash screen So before we jump into the video, let's analyze the GDevelop splash screen first. So on the screen right now, we have three text and one image. We have the made width, we have the percentage right here, and we have this. While this right here, which is GDevelop, is an image, is a PNG image, which has been converted to a base64 format. So what's a base64? Well, according to Google, Base64 is a group of similar binary to text encoding schemes that represent binary data in an ASCII string format by translating it into a Radix64 representation. The term base64 originates from a specific MIME content transfer encoding. So with that said, let's begin. We just develop open here now, unlike the last video on removing JetVolve's splash screen for free, which if you haven't seen, I would leave a link in the description also. So unlike that video where we modified the project to remove the splash screen, for this um it's a little bit tricky actually because we are going to have to modify we're going to have to locate to develop and then modify it directly from its location so with that said the first thing you want to do is search up to develop because right now we're trying to locate um to develop which is its installation directory so open file location and then let's open file location sorry oh no open file location so here we go this is the gdevelop installation directory on a windows machine the next thing you do is head into your resources folder and then into gdjs you should see two folders here well it was one in um, older versions of gdevelop so let's open our runtime folder So these are the files in our runtime folder and we'll be modifying the files in this folder. So at this point, I'd advise you get a code editor. I'll leave a link in the description to download VS Code, which is my recommended code editor. You can also use your own code editor if it does the work well for you. So if you don't have it installed, pause the video and then come back once you have it installed. So I'm hoping you have a code editor installed right now. So still in our runtime folder, you need to locate the file gd splash image .js, which is this right here. So you'd open this with your own code editor. So in here you should see this um, string right here which is data, um, a colon, image, forward slash png and so long. So this is the gdevelop splash image in a base64 format. This is what base64 actually looks like. So what you need to do here is replace this string with your very own image in base64. Now you may be wondering how can I get my image in base64? Well that's where this website comes in. So the name of the website is Code Beautify and we can use this to convert our image to base64. I'll also leave a link in the description. So let's upload image and then I'll be using this which is my channel profile so I'll select that and as you can see automatically converts the image to base64 which you can see right here we need to copy this all the way from data right here so select this and um, let's select it all the way to the bottom and don't add in the um, codes which is a single code to we'll add that by ourselves when we copy the code into our code editor so I'll just select this and control copy on my keyboard and um yeah that's it so if your string looks different it doesn't really matter because they probably would be different images so let's head back to gdevelop i'm um, sorry vs code which is my code editor and then paste it so you need to select this all the way from here and it's a very long string so clear that and paste ctrl v now you need to paste your um, you need to place this in quotes actually since it's a string and 
you can choose places in single quotes or double quotes so i personally prefer double quotes so i'll use that there and use that there so just for those who aren't really into programming that much this is a um this is single quotes and this right here this is single quotes and this sorry this are double quotes so for this this is what we'll be using let's place that back and now we have our very own image placed here so save that by pressing ctrl s and let's minimize this back into our folder now if you export your game made in gdevelop you should see your very own image displayed instead of gdevelop now when it comes to modifying this text which is made with the percentage and gdevelop app there is a different file for this so let's minimize and um Back into our runtime folder, which is this. To modify those stacks, you need to locate Pixie Renders, which is the folder. So open this folder up and then into loading screen Pixie Renderer.js. Now you need to open this. And this is it basically. So if you look at the file, you should see some GDevelop text like the Madewits, the GDevelop websites.com. You should also see the percentage, which is progress text here and the percentage which is displayed so a quick way to this is to change the color of the progress text by default we have this set to fff this is the color um code which is in white so i'll just get a new one something red so i'll change this to red since i don't know color codes so i'll just jump into google and copy one okay Control copy and back and let's paste this have that and you can save this and head back to gdevelop and fuse and if we preview this you should see the progress text is no longer set to white but rather red there you go so that shows you that that's actually working so let's back into the file so here you can set the text to what you want so for this i'll say made by Sorry about that, made by the gem there. Keep in mind that the text would be automatically centered by this code here, which divides the width and we divides the width of the screen and the width of the image to get the center of it. So we also have the website here, uh, we just change this to um the gem dev .com. Which you can also set the color here you can set the color you can choose where to align it you can also choose the font family and the font size this is set to 30 you can if you want it bigger you can make it big and if you want only your image to be displayed you can set the font size to zero for all you can set the font size to zero for the progress text the made width text and the website text so there you go that's all you need to do now if i press ctrl s which will save this file and minimize this back into gdevelop here now let's export our gdevelop game to actually see our changes so I'll just head into my um export the game and web online publish online okay now we have that ready so let's open and you should see this okay screenshot so there is our text made by the jam dev our logo also our text i took a screenshot of it so we'll just open it again and here we go so this is it made by the gem dev this is our text this is our image which we converted to the base 64 our text color which we set to red so basically that's it that's how easy it is to create a custom gdevelop splash screen in Chitaval. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.